Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, I will show you how you can use SimBrief in combination with the latest Salty 7478 mod. Before going to the airplane itself, we're gonna create a flight, uh, and the flight will be from, um, let's say, a random airport, uh, which, we, which we will decide uh, to another airport uh, in the same region. Uh, so you can you can change the uh, the airline code here and the flight number as you might know when using a sim brief and then you can provide a departing airport and as you can see already used a few of them uh, mainly uh, in the Netherlands and Germany a few so let's uh, select a KDCA um, and then as arrival let's do what shall we do John F. Kennedy. We can change the time, uh, but one of the most important things is to update the um, aircraft type. So we're gonna change it to a Boeing 747, if it's listed. Yeah, Boeing 747-8. That's the one we want to use. That's uh, mainly for the advanced uh, aircraft options like the climb rate and fuel factor, etc. Uh, so we will leave everything in there and then one thing to note is that you need to keep make a note of the pilot ID because the pilot ID is the uh, value which you need to put into SimBrief or into the aircraft in the SimBrief section uh, from the uh, Salty 747-8 mod else it won't be able to retrieve the flight so it says okay hey this is the uh, route uh, if we're happy with it then we can uh, scroll further down and then it will show us the flight and also the ultimate so we're flying from uh, Washington to New York uh, using the flight route once you're happy with that uh, click on generate the OPF it will give you a warning you can say okay override it and once it's done and uh, you can review it again and if you're happy with it, you can go to Flight Simulator and configure the SimBrief integration. As you can see, it's defined here. Also, the OFP format, the fuel, the trip, uh, well, how much uh, fuel will it cost, etc. Departure, AC clearance, the times, the cargo, right? Don't forget to change the cargo if you are loading the aircraft a little bit different. And then here are all the waypoints and intersections which we're gonna visit during our flight. Uh, the wind information, although you can also get the wind information using the uh, built-in uh, weather information, uh, which is also part of the latest edition of the uh, 747 uh, mod from uh, Salty. So now we're happy, we can go to the aircraft. Uh, what you need to do is if you're not in the main menu, you need to press menu and then you can go to salty and you will see the sim brief. There you will push in the numbers uh, using the buttons here. Uh, uh, here. And uh, once that's done, uh, you can go back to the options and you might think, okay, what now? Well, press the init ref and then simply start from the top. Uh, redefine the uh, options here. And then simply follow the normal process like uh, setting a GPS location and the IRS. And when coming to the route option, that's where you can use the send request option. So if I press send request, it will pull the data from SimBrief and will add it to the uh, system of the 747. Right. So we can look at the next page uh, if there's something there, but it's not so let's say okay hey we want to uh, load it um, let's see if now the next page is still empty but that's fine for now then you will or you can revisit the uh, per minute options or you can simply accept them so let's accept them uh, so watch route one up link per minute up link it's fine uh, you can also send the request, right? So then it will get the information again. So if you're not happy with it, simply press the uh, button. And then once you're happy, press the accept button. Uh, you can go to the different steps, the trust limiter, if you want. Uh, 
configure the uh, takeoff speed, the flaps, the V1s and the V rotates. So let's assume that we're setting it to 15 uh, flaps. Oh, a little bit. Oh, let's see what's going wrong. Right, you see here the entries are wrong. So in that case, we first need to clear them. Uh, 15 flaps. And then use the same technique as with the other ones uh, normally. Uh, and then should load the data, but as you can see, it currently doesn't load it. So probably we need to uh, provide runway information. Well, let me see if we can provide runway information. And to do that, we're going to use the scroll log and then simply uh, tune into the ATIS uh, because that will tell us, okay, which runway uh, we're going to use. So it says runway 24 Lima and runway 23. So let's go for the easy one. Uh, this button doesn't work yet. So probably there's some work to do to, to get this fixed uh, because it looks like that this uh, doesn't work yet. Uh, we'll also try to find it because you can you can see that you can configure the numbers here, but now it has set uh, 23 knots as the V1, which is far too low. Um, so let's uh, put uh, 150 for example. 150 and then uh, 160 as the next one. And then 180. So there's no calculation mechanism in uh, just like with the other airplanes. So keep that in mind. Uh, at least I didn't find it yet. If you found it, feel free to post it uh, below the video. Uh, so every so we can help other people also. Um, so if you now go to departure and arrival, you can uh, select the uh, runways. Uh, you can select the uh, SIDs, right? The uh, standard information, instrumental departures routes. Uh, that will simply add those waypoints from these specific routes to the weight or to your flight plan. And the same thing can be done uh, once you're arriving at the destination airport. So if we would now go to uh, the LAX, you would see that it has added the LAX to the uh, flight plan. It has uh, added the uh, Eggart and uh, Donnell as the uh, LAX. And if we would open the uh, BFR map, hopefully it will also show the data. Sometimes it takes some time. I saw some issues also on the internet, people reporting issues with it doesn't look like to load it for some reason well not a, not a big issue right um, so you can see this is how it loads the data into the um, system from the uh, airplane using the sim brief uh, flight plan which we programmed earlier um, would have expected that it would have shown the the options here also uh, it would have shown the the information here a little bit more close so let me see if we can uh, switch although some of the options are not working yet right so keep that in mind uh, no they're all in up so in up means simply that they're not working yet so hopefully it will be fixed in a future release uh, of course, you can still set the options here, like the uh, weather information, etc. So it's not that you can't completely set it, because it still has the information, but not on the left side, but on the top side here. And you can switch on multiple options here. You can switch on the terrain, uh, position, uh, data, on and off, uh, the airport information, on, on and off, uh, waypoints. And you can see on the left side which options you enabled. And of course the uh, the weather information and that would normally i would expect the weather to be shown or maybe it has not received it yet um, so you could see that i would say programming the flight using simbrief was pretty easy to do also the integration is nicely uh, implemented in the simbrief uh, saw the options section and once you've did that, you can, uh, I would say, import all the stuff uh, by following the init uh, ref option and then uh, following the post init and then route and then simply send a request that will add all the information. If you're not happy with it, you can still delete the information. You can simply select purge 
and if you did that then it will clear all the information uh, which is already in the system uh, what's important to do is if you did that oh, let me show it again uh, let's say uh, clear you oh, it's hidden here you need to press execute before it's really cleared so any change which you made here you need to press execute uh, if you want to load it again simply send load if it has loaded successfully in some cases will, this button will light up if not then you don't need to hit it if it lights up like now you can hit it and then it has added all the information as requested to the flight plan and the airplane system again this is where this how to ends uh, as you saw it's not that hard uh, to add the sim brief flight plan to your airplane uh, so i would definitely recommend to use that option because uh, sim brief is a little bit more advanced uh, flight planner compared to the default flight planner from flight simulator 2020 I uh, hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to leave them below the, the video in the comment box. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.